at a time when people were beginning to say, oh, I can't have children and be an artist, I can't be taken seriously if I'm married. She appeared to make virtually no concessions to anything. She wanted to be a mother, she wanted a family, she wanted to cook dinner every night. She wanted a Christmas tree, she wanted Christmas presents, she wanted the dog and the cat and the whole nine yards. It never occurred to her that she couldn't do that and be a great artist. Oh, you big girl. <laughs> you big girl, you went right to mine. I would describe it as having designed a life so that she was able to have what she wanted more than anything. She was a successful artist when we were growing up. So it's different for us than it is for our brother. The activity of making art was separate from the activity of being a, a member being of the a, family, yeah. of being yeah. a mother, you know. And it really was like she worked a nine to five. Yeah, she, you know, she's in the studio, you know, all day. Daisy says studio now. Where are you, Daisy? You say studio? The thing that one often forgets about great artists like Elizabeth is that they're also human beings, that they have lives outside their art, and that they go through life dealing with all of the same problems that everyone else does, and then they still have to have the inner reserve to create.